All right, all right, all right. We've heard this a million times. The internet rumblings are going crazy. Kenny Omega in the WWE. Kenny Omega is going to debut at the Royal Rumble. Kenny Omega is WWE bound. He just left New Japan Pro Wrestling. What is going on with Kenny Omega? Well, Kenny Omega, if you're not familiar with, wrestled an amazing match with Okada at Wrestle Kingdom 11. Now, if you're not familiar with New Japan Pro Wrestling, all you need to know is Kenny Omega is the top wrestler in the world right now. If he's top in New Japan Pro Wrestling, that means he's top in one of the best in the entire world. Now, Kenny Omega um, actually tweeted out saying that he will be stepping away from Japan to reassess his future. The path of my journey may change, but my goals will not. That is what Kenny Omega said. And then everybody is wondering, is Kenny Omega going to sign with the WWE? He said he's done with Japan. What's happening? What's going on? What's what's the deal here? What's happening is that Kenny Omega is saying that he is not going to wrestle just normal matches. He's going to make it make sense. He's going he's gonna to think about his future because Dave Meltzer is telling us what the deal is with Kenny Omega. Dave Meltzer says that New Japan Pro Wrestling has a contract with Kenny Omega that expires on January 31st. That means that he would not be able to appear in the Rumble on January 29th. Meltzer also said that there are people within New Japan Pro Wrestling who believe Omega already re-signed to New Japan Pro Wrestling and that he would be returning in March for the New Japan Cup. If you know the match that took place with Okada and Kenny Omega, that was one of the most insane matches of all time, and Kenny Omega probably needs time to recover from that. A lot of people are thinking that this is Kenny Omega messing with people, and John Cena is actually messing with you as well. He, he uh, On Instagram, he put a picture of Kenny Omega, then he put uh, three different pictures that was like, Kenny from South Park, the O, and then Mega Man, and it was Kenny O Mega, and that's what they're thinking is that is going to happen there, is that John Cena says it, it's got to be true, but John Cena's just trolling everybody, he's just saying that's the deal here. So with Kenny Omega and the WWE, one of the things that I will note um, that Pulse actually pointed out on Twitter, which I knew this was true, is that it is illegal to do contract negotiations when you are under contract with another company. Now, let's not say that WWE couldn't possibly reach out to New Japan Pro Wrestling and say, hey, we want Kenny Omega. What will you need for us to get Kenny Omega to be in the Royal Rumble? That is a possibility. That is a slight, slight, slight possibility. Now, let me talk about what I think would happen here in the WWE. Do I think that WWE would pull the trigger and get Kenny Omega and have him win the Rumble? That would be one of the most amazing things of all time. They could talk to New Japan Pro Wrestling. They could work out some sort of talent exchange. They could do something, and they could get Kenny Omega to win the Royal Rumble and make a shocker. And then have Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania, the main event for that. This would be a thing that WWE would likely, probably not do. Would I like to see that happen? Yes. Would that be one of the best matches of all time? Yes. Would that be WrestleMania? Yes. Would that be the number one wrestling match of the year? Would that be a huge headline? Would that make WWE huge? Yes, 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 yes. Do I think this is going to happen? No. I don't think that's going to happen. The reason I don't think that's going to happen is because New Japan Pro Wrestling is coming to California to do the G1 Climax. They have a, like a, I think they have like a pit stop, if you will, is what we'll call it over in California for the G1, and they will definitely need to have Kenny Omega be champion going into that. I don't think that the rivalry with Okada and Kenny Omega is over, and if New Japan Pro Wrestling was as smart as they are, they would sign Kenny Omega, they would give him that championship, and they would let him be champion coming to America. That is what Dave Meltzer has been saying. He has been saying this, and I, I fully agree with him. I endorse this statement. I say... Uh, Kenny Omega is ready to have a long-term program with Okada. They had their contest, and now this makes everybody want to see Kenny Omega again. He, this made the stock of Kenny Omega go way up, this match at Wrestle Kingdom. So now we're waiting to see what's next for Kenny Omega. He's putting everybody on the back burner. I don't think that Kenny Omega is going to make an announcement on what he is doing in his wrestling career until after Wrestle. Mania, or after the Royal Rumble, excuse me, because this is smart business sense for Kenny Omega. People want to see him come into the Rumble. 
But if he doesn't come in the Rumble, it's just uh, it's like a buzz thing. Because right now, I'm talking about him. Everybody's talking about Kenny Omega. Literally, the wrestling world is on fire after his match. And he's going to stay quiet. He's going to be in his corner. He's not going to let anybody know what's happening until after the Royal Rumble. I think that he's going to take time off, recover, come back to New Japan Pro Wrestling, and win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. That's all that's going to happen. It's going to be the IWGP Champion. Uh, he's going to go into the G1 match in California as champion to make New Japan come to America for the first time and actually grow a huge market. Again, Kenny Omega has put himself in this class that I like to call the I don't need WWE class. You saw it with Finn Balor where he's like, you know what, I'm going to go over to New Japan. I'm going to kill it, and whatever happens, whatever comes out of that, is going to happen. You saw it with AJ Styles. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to go to Japan. I'm going to kill it. And then whatever happens, whatever happens. WWE is finally recognizing this. They're seeing these guys that go over there. You have the club in WWE. The guys that go over to Japan, they work their ass off. They make a name for themselves. And they go over there and they become successful. Whether Kenny Omega comes into WWE or not, we do know that he is not going to be at the Royal Rumble. Unless... This is a big asterisk unless he works out some deal with WWE and New Japan where they can somehow get his contract or WWE buys out his contract somehow. They WWE would have to talk with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now, it would be stupid for New Japan Pro Wrestling to lose a guy like Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is right there as far as being the top guy in the company. All he has to do is be Okada for that championship, the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, and he will be the top guy in in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I will say this, New Japan Pro Wrestling is the second organization in the entire world that would make him the number two guy in the entire world. I don't care what you think about Raw and SmackDown, those being one or two. I still think WWE is one, and then New Japan Pro Wrestling is two. And if Kenny Omega can win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, he will be the number two guy in the entire world of professional wrestling. And this is smart for him because what is going to be happening is going to rise his stock. Whether Kenny Omega goes to WWE now, later, or in the future, it, we don't know. But we do know that WWE had offered Kenny Omega a contract to come into NXT. Kenny Omega decided, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I don't want to come in NXT. I'm going to go to Japan instead. And he did, and he is killing it over there. I think it's a smart move for a guy like Omega to kind of go over to Japan and earn his craft and make a name for himself. He did an interview with ESPN, and he said he is happy and glad this was before Wrestle Kingdom. He is very excited to make a name for himself and not have the WWE on his back. This is kind of like what Matt Hardy is doing now. He is saying, you know what? I am going to become broken Matt Hardy. I am going to be the best version of myself that I can be. I'm going to make wrestling different. I'm going to take wrestling and make it my version and make it blow up. And that is what Kenny Omega is doing as well. They don't need the WWE to succeed. And I think now with the internet, now with as smart as the wrestling fans are, uh, you have just as many Americans watching New Japan Pro Wrestling as Japanese fans. You know, all on Twitter, all on Twitter, everybody was talking about it. They were saying, Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega, match of all time, greatest match ever, better than Taker and Shawn Michaels, greatest, 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 greatest. And now you don't need the WWE. You have the internet. You have this worldwide spectrum. You got YouTube. You got all this stuff. New Japan World, you can just buy it and you can watch all Japanese wrestling all that you want, and it's a great time to be a wrestling fan. I think that Kenny Omega, honestly, final thoughts here. If we're going to go on a prediction, we're going to say, will Kenny Omega come into WWE? Would he be in the Royal Rumble? Honestly, unless the WWE works out a deal with New Japan Pro Wrestling because WWE is not able to negotiate contracts with talent as they're in the company, that is illegal. But if, if they can somehow talk to New Japan Pro Wrestling and say, hey, we want Kenny Omega for the Rumble. What do we got to give you? I think that that's the only way Kenny Omega is going to come in. And if they do pull the trigger on this, you have to have Kenny Omega win the title or win the Rumble, then go and fight AJ for the title at Mania. That's the only way to make sense of it. And if you want to make a big shock factor, do it. But the way I see it is that isn't really WWE's style. WWE's been working very hard to get Roman Reigns over. They've been working very hard to get their guys over. And I don't think that they would take a guy like Kenny Omega, at least right now, and push him to the moon and put him as a champion, put him in a huge main event. 
I think that they have too much money put into the guys they have right now. And I don't think that Kenny Omega will come into the WWE at the Royal Rumble. Again, like I said, it could happen if the WWE talks to New Japan and they strike some sort of huge deal there. WWE gives them X amount of dollars. They do a talent thing. I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't think it's going to happen. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of Kenny Omega. Do you think he is as good as everyone is saying he is or is he overrated? Do you think he's coming to WWE in the Royal Rumble or is it just a hoax and everybody's getting their hopes up? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoy this. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And also, check out these two videos if you haven't checked them out. They're sort of similar to this, so it will be stuff that you do like. So if this is something that you like, check out these other ones. Anyway, guys, Tony Beats Guy 2. Sweet!